All right, we have our last workout before Christmas Day. I apologize, I have the hiccups and they won't go away, so you get to deal with that. Um, our workout is called the CFCL or CrossFit 150, 12 Days at Christmas. So it works just like the song. So before we go through movements, this is how it's working. You're going to do one, one, then you're going to do two, one, then you're going to do three, two, one, then four, three, two, one, then five, four, three, two, one, and keep basically working your way down. So every time you start a new round, you're starting down a little lower and you're working your way back and doing all those reps again. Okay. So the movements are clean and jerk or push press. If you're using uh, dumbbell, dumbbells, I want you to do push press instead of jerk. I will show you both if you are using a barbell. Pull-ups or rows, bent over rows or ring rows if you have those. Box jumps, if you don't have a box, then we're gonna do uh, jumping squats. Um, if you have problems with those knees, then just go as deep as you can. And we're just doing like a little bit of a hop at the top. If that is not happening today either, then just do a body weight squat there, okay? Um, for snatches, so dumbbell, um, gonna be two per side, or a barbell is gonna be a hang snatch. Uh, five burpees. <laughs> burpees. We all know how to do those. Um, then six is push presses. So dip and drive overhead. Then seven is step ups. If you don't have anything to step onto, then you'll do lunges. I'll show you those. Eight is going to be V snaps or sit ups. Okay. If V snaps, if you have a bar to hang from as well, you're welcome to do leg raises or toes to bar variations. Um, I won't go over those, but those are option if you know them. Then nine is going to be squats. Again, if you have problems with that knee, if you're doing squats on the bo box jump variation, we'll do a glute bridge for that one instead. So I'll show you what that is. And then 10 deadlifts, barbell or dumbbells. 11 is going to be push-ups. Um, find a height that you can do those push-ups within two, two sets. Don't, just don't make them too hard on yourself. Uh, and then last, we're going to do front squats. Okay, so dumbbell or barbells on the shoulder for the squat. And again, I'll show you a different, different option if that's not going to be good for your knees, um, if you're going through a knee issue. Um, the weights are going to be fairly light, okay, light to maximum of moderate. The clean and jerk and the front squat uh, weight, though, can be heavier. Okay, maximum is 75% of your one rep max, if you know that, or just heavier than the other one, should you want to, or just keep everything the same weight, okay, not a big deal, okay? So let's go over the movements. I'm going to use dumbbells for most of it. I'll use a stick to show you the variations if you are using a bar, but clean and jerk. You're going to start from mid-shin, and we're just jumping into the shoulders, so control to the knee, and then jump to the shoulders. You can either do a power or you can finish that squat, okay? You decide each time which you want to do. And then for those using dumbbells, okay, we just did the clean. Now we're going to do a push press, okay, for using dumbbells. So nice and tall, dip down a wall, okay? Don't let that butt go back. And then squeeze your butt and drive to your best overhead position, okay? So that would be the one for the dumbbells. If you're using a barbell, you're going to do clean. is pretty much the same as if the bar is going to be in front of you, but nice and close. Jump to the shoulders. Again, option to finish that squat or just do the power. You set your feet. And then we're going to stay, again, nice and tall. And then we're going to do it into a split jerk or a push jerk if you want to. Okay? Recover and then back down. So that is the clean and jerk. Next one is, like I said, if you have a, a hanging bar, you can do pull-ups. Most of us are going to do bent over rows. So feet underneath your hips. You're going to reach that butt back. Okay, feel the back of your legs holding your up, arms are extended, big belly, and then we're rowing into sort of our belly button. Make sure the shoulders are backing down, especially on these rows, it's really easy to bring the shoulders up. So back and down and row in. We will do two of those. Then box jumps. So if you do have something to jump onto, it's going to be a two-footed hop. I'm not going to do that to my knee. Then stand all the way up at the top and step down. So there's no ju jumping down and bouncing out of the bottle. If you don't have that available, then we're going to do a jump squat or just a body weight squat as well. Okay, so body weight squat, just come up as low as you can, okay, safely with whatever you're work working with. And then 
drive through the heels to stand, okay? Or if you want to add that jump squat, you do the same thing. You're just going to do a little hop to the top. That's all. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Okay, just make sure you're staying on those heels as long as possible if you're doing that hop. We're not coming down and rolling on to those toes. Okay, and the next one is snatches. So if you're using dumbbells, dumbbell is in between you. Butt down, chest up. Okay, we're going to have the tendency to want to just do this because our legs are sore. But try to get that set up position, nice big belly, and then control the knees and jump it overhead. Or you don't even have to jump, you can just do that awesome snatch overhead. So you do two per side, switching every time, but four total. And then with the snatches with the barbell, you can do a hang, power, or a squat snatch. So barbells in the crease of the hips, arms are extended. So you're going to slide down to anywhere above the knee, come back through. Okay, power would just mean we, we jump into a partial squat, or the full squat would be doing all the way down and all the way up. Okay, then we reset and do that again. So four of those, your choice. Next one, burpees. We all know what those are. So just a little reminder, you can do a top end. Okay, so just jumping and staying, elbow stay nice and tall, coming into a plank, or we can come all the way down to the ground to our chest touch and jump or step back. And we can do both of those versions from a bench as well. Okay, so don't be afraid to elevate it. Just make sure if you're doing the top end, you do the top end, there's no bending in the elbows, and we're getting that nice solid plank position. If you're doing the push-up all the way down. Okay, so choose one or the other. So five of those option. If you do want, you instead of jumping up, we can when you when we come up, we can jump sideways or over an object. Okay, that's an option. Push presses. So dumbbells on the shoulders. Again, we're staying nice and tall, feet are underneath our hips. Just a little dip and then squeeze that butt and drive overhead. Okay, remember we're not pushing that butt back and our chest to come forward and it's just a couple inches, okay? So just a little bend in the knee and then squeeze the butt and drive. That's all it is, okay? Push presses with the bar, it's the same thing. We just wanna have that bar rest on the shoulders. This is a little hard with the stick, but we don't wanna have it out here and then as we dip, that bar comes down. Okay, that'll be hard on your shoulders. So just make sure it can rest on your shoulders, otherwise you have dumbbells. Um, if your shoulders are having issues, okay, don't do that dip and dry. That'll just be a little jarring. Same thing with the push press for the clean and jerk version. Just change that either to a strict press or something else completely. Maybe we're just doing um, some supermans or something like that. Okay, we still get a little bit of shoulders. So the supermans would be up overhead, raise, and row in. Okay, the superman row as a, as a variation if those shoulders aren't feeling great with having weight overhead. Um, step ups. So again, whenever you jumped onto, or if you have a stepper, you know, make sure you're driving through the heel, stand all the way up. Okay, you're gonna do seven total. So one side you're gonna do three, one side you're gonna do four. If you remember, switch it on your next round, but if not, whatever, we'll deal with that today. If you don't have a box, to do that, then we'll just do a lunge. So you can step back, tap that knee, or step forward, tap that knee, or walking lunges. Again, seven total. Making sure you're driving to the heel no matter what variation you're doing, okay? Not to the toe. Um, V-snap, so first option you can do is a sit-up, okay? We all know that one. Something behind that back, all the way down to the, sh the head or the shoulder crunch, and then all the way back up. Um, and these snaps, you're just going to bring the knees together or the feet together in the middle of your body. So tuck those knees in, come all the way up, come back down, or try to keep those toes and hands to meet. Obviously, the higher the better in between. Or hanging leg raises. So if you're doing hanging leg raises and you know how to kip, you're welcome to do that today. But make sure you're not swinging like a pendulum, okay? The kip is back and forth, back and forth. It's not swing and bring the knees up at one point. Okay, so if you don't know that, let's keep it strict and let's just slow it down. So you just bring those knees up and control down, and knees up and control down. Okay. Um, number nine is squats. 
So just like the jump squat, make sure you're staying to the heels, staying as tall as you can, getting as low as you can. Like I said, if those knees aren't feeling great or hips or whatever, then we can change this to a uh, glute bridge. Okay, you can grab a weight or not grab a weight. It's up to you. If you're grabbing a weight, it should be really light. Um, feet about shoulder width, about a foot length away from my butt, and then shoulders underneath me. We're gonna drive through our heels, squeeze that butt, and then drive those hips up, hold for a second, and then coming back down, okay? So that would be your alternative to your squat. Next one is deadlifts. So dumbbells by your side, feet underneath your hips. We're gonna come mid chin, or if you can, you can drop those heel, the top of the dumbbell heads to the ground, as long as you're not rounding the back. So when I do this, I feel a little round to my shoulders, so I'm just gonna come to mid chin. So for mid chin, driving to the heels, squeezing the butt to stand, okay? We've done lots of these, so just make sure you're driving through the legs rather than standing and opening up with the back. Um, barbell is going to be the same. We just I want you to think about keeping that barbell connected to your body all the way through. Okay, and making sure we're not rounding, we're squeezing that shoulder back and down and standing. Number 11 is push-ups. So we can always do this from the elevated surface. I definitely prefer that if you have the option rather than knees, but if you don't, that's okay. Making sure your hands are just a little wider than the shoulders. We are in a solid position, so our butt and our shoulders or your chest are moving down at the same time. All the way down until nipple line or below touches, and then back up. Everything's moving together. Okay, like I said, find a position, a height, or a difficulty that you can do this in at least two sets. You're going to be pretty tired but you, by the time you get there, so maybe you do three, but you shouldn't have to do singles or anything. Okay? And then last one is front squats. So... Dumbbell or barbell on your shoulders. We just have to stay a little bit taller on our squat. Obviously, there's a little weight. Okay, so keeping that position, nice big belly driving through those heels. Um, if you, again, if you're, you're just taking a little easy on the knees, uh, alternative would be that glute bridge again, and then you would add weight or more weight than what you used for the previous one if you're doing the same thing. So maybe that, um, the number nine squats, you do no weight, and then the front squats, you add that weight for that glute bridge that we just did, okay? Lots going on, lots to remember. Your rest is almost gonna be like you figuring out where you're at and what you're doing. Just take your time with it. Um, we did a 30 minute time cap for the class this morning, so I'd probably stick with that. If you're close, you can maybe do 35, but I wouldn't go any farther than that. Let's just cut it off there. Um, and just a, a reminder of how this goes, because I told them the wrong in the morning class. Some of them did it right, some of them did it wrong. But that's okay, they did the same amount of work. So you're going to do one clean and jerk. Then you do two pull-ups or rows. Then back to one. Then three, two, one. Then four, three, two, one. Then five, four, three, two, one. You get the idea. You keep going down as you finish that rep. Just like the song. So if you sing the song... You'll get the idea. Apparently, I didn't get it this morning. I must have been tired. Anyways, as always, send me a message if you have questions or anything. But otherwise, have fun with it. It is a fun one. Um, even though there's a not go lot going on, uh, it's a good one to do. And Merry Christmas. Have a great long weekend. And the next class will be on Tuesday. Bye-bye. <laughs>